There are always beings endowed with special power, chosen by the gods to determine the fate of the world. The Titan Lords were the first, Lords of the Elements. With their help, the gods created our world. But when their work was done, the Titan Lords turned on each other and began a war that ravaged the Earth. The gods grew angry when they saw what had become of the world and banished the Titan Lords to the depths of the earth and the sea, where they were to remain imprisoned until the end of time. An ancient prophecy says on the day they are freed, the age of destruction will begin. Today, we know its truth. With all due respect, Lieutenant, you're drunk and a disgrace to the uniform. <sighs> Go bother someone who gives a damn. Commandant Carlos wants to see you. He's waiting at the top of the tower. Well? All right. Not now. Come on! There's a ship coming in. In this storm. Not the storm I'm worried about. It's what might be hiding in it. I don't see what you're worrying about. We need to save the survivors. I'm not risking another ship. The survivors will have to make it ashore on their own. Go down to the beach and gather up anyone who gets to shore alive.
So, what did the Commandant say? I've got to get to the beach. Now let me through. Good luck, mate. They kill most folk. But you'll be fine. for anything. Give me some gold and I can get it for you. What sort of things are you talking about? Weapons, boots, whatever you need really. You pay me, I tell you where it's waiting for you. And you go and pick it up yourself. Easy, eh? So what are these things? That storehouse I was telling you about at the arbor. The best stuff's locked up in the chests. But the stuff they don't need is just lying around. So you know it's okay to just go in and help yourself, right? Sounds about right. But wait until day. They lock the place at night and you can't get in. There's guards during the day, but don't worry about them. I'll teach you everything you need to know, for a bit of gold, naturally. What do you need gold for in here? What do you think, piss for brains? To send to your poor old mother? Funny bastard, ain't ya? To bribe the guards? <laughs> Clever boy! Did you figure that all out by yourself? Maybe you're not as dumb as you look. So what are you in for? Nothing. I'm an innocent man. All I was doing was having a nosy round this storehouse of the arbor. Then this big fool grabs me and says I was trying to rob the place. Me? A thief? You fucking believe that? Not for a second. Ex fucking Sandy. I want to know how to sneak. It's all in the knees. Keep them bent and your weights. Don't go clod up and about like a fucking herd of protectors. Stay light on your feet and no fucker will hear you. you than me. you rescuing me, I was fine. Patty, how are you here? Nice to see you too. I'm here because I have to get a message to the Inquisition, and you're helping. I am? Of course you are. We need to find Carlos, then a ship, a fast one. Out of the question. But there is a weapon against the Kraken. What makes you so sure? Father's searching for it. Steelbeard? You found him? Not yet, but I know where to look. 
Not so fast. Why would a pirate oppose Mara? After all, she's the greatest enemy the Inquisition faces. Her kraken sinks our ships, her creatures attack our settlements. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Isn't that how it goes? Well, that's true, but the pirates are at war with each other. Half of them have sided with Mara. Father's leading the opposition. He's been searching for a way to kill the Kraken. And right now he's in Takarigua. Takarigua? That's where the Black Betty is heading from here, taking troops and workers for our colony there. I could get you both aboard her. Think about it, and we'll talk further tomorrow. Stand to. <sighs> What's new? Nothing. Another shit job to do. Ship's about to sail and I've got a prisoner to load. Who's the prisoner? Some pirate. Joined one of our ships then tried to raid our storehouse. Idiot. So he gets a one-way trip to Tecarigua. Shoulder arms. Why are they shipping you to Tecarigua? Slave fucking labor, that's why. There's a whole ship full of them down in the harbor. Full of what? Maluckers. That's what they call the slaves. Present arms. I'm trying to teach these mummies boys some discipline. Isn't it obvious? You'd be better off teaching them how to fight. Good idea. Volunteering to help, are you? If you want. Just as soon as you're ready. Stand. Let's train. Watch closely, men. Attack already! Yeah. You show him! <sighs> Get him! Have him! Attack already! You show him! Do it! You show him! Do it! That's the one! You show him! That's the one! Do it! You show him! Have him! Attack already! You show him! Get him! Have him! Show him what you can do! <clears throat> do it! I'm impressed. You show no mercy. I like you. Wasn't too bad a workout, was it? Next time, hero, it'll be different. How long are you going to work these men? In a week's time, Commandant Corrientes is embarking on a secret mission. I intend to provide him with first-class soldiers. That means weapons training and fencing practice from dawn till dusk, and at night if needs be. What secret mission? The High Council is sending another expedition to the New World. Commandant Carlos is the only one apart from Corrientes who knows the details. 
Stand to. <laughs> Rules is rules. As long as the ship's in the harbour, then the gate stays closed. High Council's orders, see? What's so special about that ship? Slave ship, innit? Although, you ask me, seems a bit pointless with this palaver about the gate. I mean, where are they going to escape to? No hiding places in what's left of Caldera, anyway. And beyond that, there's them Titans. So the law's pointless? Well, here, now, that isn't quite what I said. I said the law is nearly pointless. Still, the law's the law, so the gate stays shut. You ever been out to what's beyond Caldera? Are you kidding? It's just a horrible wasteland. Only thing left there are the Titans. What do you know about them? Just enough to know not to go anywhere near them. You've been to Faranga, right? Why? What do people here say about that? Well, you want to hear the polite answer or the truth? So what's the truth? The truth is... <clears throat> with all due respect, of course... Get on with it. Well, they say the ocular you were wearing was cursed. And when they took it off you, you lost an eye. And? Well, they say the ocular... done something to you. Changed you somehow just like it changed Inquisitor Mendoza. And that now, you have to get legless on a couple of bottles of rum a night to keep what's inside you at bay. Is that what they say? Well, you did ask. The situation hasn't changed. We're safe here for as long as Ursagor and Ismail are still fighting each other up north. But one of them is going to win eventually, and then they'll march here on Caldera. The plan is for us all to be gone before that happens. So the High Council has finally decided on the evacuation issue? Not yet. They want us to explore the new world more before we abandon Caldera. Bloody fools! What about Mara? And what about the ships we keep losing to that monstrosity of hers? There's been a new development there. We believe there may be a magical weapon powerful enough to kill the Kraken. One of my best men is looking into it. What can one man do against that monster? Beats me. That's your best man. Does the High Council know about this? No, and there's no reason they need to. Let them take forever coming to a decision. We need to act now. I see. I just hope you know what you're doing. When you've finished here, see Sebastiano on the ship. The Black Betty set sail today. There's an Inquisition outpost on Takarigua. You'll be able to pass yourself off as one of the workers there. Then, you need to head to the other side of the island and find the Pirate's Den. I understand. If there's any chance this weapon exists, we must find it. You're our only hope now. Don't forget. From this moment on, you're no longer part of the Inquisition. I heard there's an Inquisition mission to the New World. If there was, and that's not an admission, it would be secret by order of the High Council. You didn't hear it from me, but I believe there's a traitor in our ranks. Someone allied with Mara. So be warned, you can't trust anyone these days. A traitor? You're sure? Just look at the number of ships we keep losing. It's like Mara knows exactly where we'll be before we've set sail. It's not hard to believe she has enough power to control the thing, and with someone here to tell her where to send it. What do we know about Mara? Mara is a Titan Lord with the power to command the oceans, but it looks as if that's not enough for her. It seems she wants to control everything. She's been setting her pack of monsters on us ever since we got here. Something tells me she doesn't want us settling in the new world. One good thing about it, though, with her attacking us, the Water Titans seem to have disappeared. But now... Now there is the Kraken. Is it one of the Titans? Not as far as we know. It might be another kind of ancient being from the time of the Titan Lords. The thing's immune to cannon fire. I believe we may need a magical weapon to destroy it. 
And what about Ursagor? Ursagor. I wonder what would have happened if you hadn't freed him on Faranga. Maybe Ismail would have taken us all over by now. Maybe that is what destroyed the old Empire. Nothing to be done about it now, though I've thought the same thing. Indeed. But for now, we need to turn our attention to Mara. What about Ismail? What do we know about him? Not much. Supposedly he and Ursagor laid waste to the old Empire. It doesn't matter which Titan Lord wins. If they attack Caldera, that'll be the end of us. Even the magic crystals under the monastery won't help now. What are you doing? The payroll. That's what I'm doing. If I'm checking it once, I'm checking it twice. Look after the gold pieces and the ingots look after themselves. Got to admit, I won't be sorry stopping doing this. What do you mean? Everyone will still be getting paid, right? Of course they will. What I mean is, I won't be here soon. You're quitting? Not exactly. But you don't have to be a soothsayer to see the way the wind's blowing around here. You just have to look over the battlements. So I volunteered for the next expedition, see? What about my pay, then? Yours? You're not getting a brass sovereign. What? I heard what the Commandant said. You're not with the Inquisition any longer, right? You know the regulations well, do you? That's why they made me Persa. Then I bet you know how a man in my situation could get paid nonetheless. Well... I could always mark it down as special expenditure. Now you're talking. In that case, I could pay you up to 200 gold pieces. Tell me more about the expedition. All I know is there's a ship sailing to the New World next week. Everything else about it is hush-hush like. But whatever it is, there's got to be a better bet than sticking around here. Lads. So, slept like a log, I hope. Yeah, if the log didn't sleep at all and got woken up by the screams of a madman, how did you cope all these months? Made a friend. An intoxicating beauty, name of Rum. Huh, then you and my father had a friend in common. You'd be great drinking buddies. Tell me about your father. What's to know? It's a short story. Father leaves me on Faranga with nothing but a chart and a single page of his diary. But guess what the page shows the way to? Treasure. Not just any treasure, his treasure. Only one detail missing. Which island it's on? I'm going to find out. You still want to steal your father's treasure? No, I want us to. Better still, you help me find the treasure and I'll help you find your weapon. Deal. You won't be sorry. This is going to be fun. Any other survivors on the beach? I'm sorry. Oh, such a loss. Right. So go do whatever it is you still need to do here, and I'll meet you at the ship. Don't be long. I'll see you on board later, then. So why are you going to Takarigua? Just fancy a holiday. Come on, you can tell me. I'm going to save all of you. Whatever you say, no matter how nuts you are, you can't make it worse. So I just hope you're right. Did you see another ship was hit last night right by the fortress? I was on the tower, saw the whole thing. Really? Those poor bastards. All dead. No, just one survived. Poor devils. Let's not dwell on that, eh? Maybe the tide carried something good ashore. Times are hard. I don't mean to exploit other men's misfortune, but I could use supplies. Maybe you could take a little trip to the beach. Have a look.
on, get out of it. Find anything for me? Barrels and crates. That's all that's left. Good lad. This is good stuff. You got some gold, too? Go to Angus for that. I'm no longer a member of the Inquisition. Funny. You look just like one. Not for much longer. So, you're really leaving? On well, the next ship going. Well, I've seen enough wrecks today. Be careful. It's what do you want? Let's go to Takarigua. Tell it to the captain. It's time we weren't here. That here was madness. Orders or no orders. I keep on thinking, what if they sail without us? You think that they might? All I know is I'd rather be bummed by an angry kraken than sit around waiting for them titans. The ship's ready. How about you? I'm ready. Raise the anchor. Set the sails. Helmsman, set course for Takarigua.
almost look convincing. The Inquisition would disown you again if they saw you in that. Come on, the crew's left. We should leave too. Doubt the Puerto Sacarico garrison will have much of a clue about the pirates. But maybe we can get some clues that'll help us track down their den. We should get ourselves ready for the expedition. I can't wait to get back in my normal clothes. Well, you can't. I threw them overboard. You did what? Didn't you want to make sure no one knew you were part of the Inquisition? I liked them. These ones smell funny. 